three spins into Legacy of Egypt for it to land, uh, and I didn't even have any clothes on. Like, obviously, most of the time, I just sit here playing uh, slots in my pants. Uh, decided to go and quickly tidy myself up and put my shirt on uh, so I could record the first bonus. But look, it's landed off, off three spins. You can see that, like, basically, I decided to play Legacy of Egypt because it's a tournament game. Three spins in, it's landed. So I'm now going to have to reload the game. It's going to go straight into it. But it's landed off next to nothing, uh, and it's 10 spins on 450. So we go straight into it. I never know what to expect. I never know what to expect with Legacy of Egypt. It's gone from being a favorite to an absolute hated game. There's someone in the live chat, he knows who he is. It always requests Legacy of Egypt every single time. And because of that, because he's so relentless, we end up playing it quite a bit. And I do love the music. And if you look back at some of my older videos, I'd be like, oh, we've got to get a bonus on Legacy of Egypt. It's great music. It is great music, but look at this. Why do we play this game? Eight spins in. We've not had a bloody win. I mean, that is just... Why? Why? Okay. It's the kind of definition of getting sucked in, really. Um... I did the first 100 spins. It did hardly any wins. And I only did it really, I think, because it, it rolled in the bonus off so few spins and then did nothing at all. Uh, I then set off another 100 spins. For some reason, it sort of seems to have re-entered me in this competition again. I don't know why. I'm guessing that's a mistake or it wouldn't count. or I don't know why. But anyway, it's the definition of being sucked in for a second bonus. And this time, it's only five spins. And I just... I think this might be the very last time I play this game. I think it is. Unless it does something humongous. Looking like it's banned list! Oh yeah, lock in on the times two. For those that aren't familiar with the game, if another pyramid lands, we'll get locked in at the times two multiplier up there. But it's probably not even good. It's just such a... It's so bad! So now we're gonna get a load of spins at times two. Spin a little wheel here. Oh, there we go. Tournament finished. Ended up in position 33. Seven spins. That was the most spins that you could get. But it's times two. I mean, like, even a full line here. It's not, it's not mega wins. This game can go off in the top end, but it's... It's really rare. The only reason that I really enjoy playing it, like I said at the start, is the music. <laughs> at this point, because I started with three and a half, we're exact. We're we're like a hundred x behind the two bonuses. Suppose it's managed to creep its way up to. 88 euros. Twenty one X. Band list. Next up, I'm going to buy a bonus on Gates of Olympus. I've had a couple of bonuses on it. Um, I, think, I think I've had exactly two bonuses on it, and they've both been absolutely rubbish. It's an interesting kind of concept that builds on uh, Sweet Bonanza. You need the wins to come in. You also need a multiplier, the equivalent of a, um, a bauble, uh, to land. And the multiplier will build. 
You know if a multiplier is coming in, because Zeus, who's sitting above my head, will kind of go like that. That means a multiplier is coming in. There you go, times three. It'll only count the multiplier if um, if you actually get... It only counts the multiplier if you get a multiplier on that win, and then it adds the two together. But this, if we land a win, would have multiplied. This would have multiplied. All these other spins are just dead, dead spins. This was a 200 euro buy. I must say, I'm glad I didn't go humongous with the buy, because look at this. All of these dead spins, all these multipliers that landed, then just not doing anything at all. Eight, eight euros there. I mean, it's based on Sweet Bonanza, but they've, they've yanked the volatility around here because that is awful. Let's try one more. Look, you know what? We'll try one more slightly higher. See what happens here. One good one. Come on. This will be four bonuses. This will be four bonuses. Surely this one has got to go a bit better. Multiplier is in and it's going to count. It can drop in up to a 250x multiplier. And then that will then stack and add to the next time you get a multiplier win. Multiplier you can see over on the top left. Sitting at the moment at times three. That's not a multiplying win. If he doesn't, if he doesn't jiggle, it's not multiplying. Looking at Zeus, no multipliers are dropping in here. Can't do it. I, can't, I think that spoils it. Like you know what I mean? Like the fact that you know that if he doesn't jiggle, it's going to be a dead spin. It's just kind of like now. Now we're talking. Oh, we can jiggle after a drop. So maybe it's not spoiled. <laughs> it's still not a huge win though. Jiggle. Jiggling! Okay, so that's now going to be times seven multiplier on this win. Because it's going to add that on it. Jiggle! Jiggle! It's jiggling! It's dropping in! Okay, so it isn't as bad as I thought. He, it can, he can jiggle in between drops. Jiggle! Oh, go on, jiggle now. Jiggle! No. Ugh. Times 11 multiplies, not great. How many spins have I got left? Four left. Come on, man. Okay, he's jiggling. He's jiggling. Land it. No, no win. Come on! No. So really what you want is for a win to drop in like this and then add the multiplier. Because then you know you're getting something. It's another bad bonus. That's four in a row. One more on the same stake. Now I understand it. Now I understand it. One more on the same stake. Jiggling! Jiggling! Oh, it's a retrig. It's a retrig. Number five. Hopefully that bodes well. He's jiggling! And that's rings! He's jiggling the rings! Nice! Okay. Oh, so we don't have a multiplier activated at the moment, though. A win like that, half decent win on premiums, when you've already got a multiplier and a little bit of a jiggle. You need it all to come together. Like that! Drop! Jiggle! Jiggle! No! Jiggle, 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 jiggle. No. See, if he jiggled then, multiplier would have activated. He's not, he's not jiggling, is he? I'd say it's a jiggle. It's more of a 1980s dance move, isn't it? Go on, do it. Patool. No. Patool. Patool. This could, this is what I got. He's not doing it. Zeus, where are your dance moves? Pachoo! That's the dance move. It's a little bit, it's like a Michael Jackson kapow! Can I get a hoo yeah! Hoo yeah! 
No wins to go with it. Four to go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, he's not doing it now. Oh, yeah. Awful. Oh, yeah. Awful, 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 awful game! We don't play enough Red Tigers because Red Tigers don't save. And a lot of what we do is, you know, saving bonuses for bonus hunts. A lot of you will have hopefully seen some of our big bonus hunts. We put highlights up. Obviously, a lot of the live streams are still there to watch. Uh, yeah, because Red Tigers don't save, they tend to get missed. They do do some good games. So it's a good opportunity to take Gonzo for a spin. See if we can land the bonus. It's so hard to land the bonus. Um, trigger symbols need to land from the first reel to the third reel. All from four to six, I think. No, no, no. It is just from one to three. You need to land those those um, feature trigger symbols. Maybe it'll happen. Maybe it won't. I've got it on six euro stake. That's high. That's a big stake. Maybe we can recover some of that bloody Gates of Olympus loss. Earthquaking. Only premiums. Go on. Come on. I'm still in Michael Jackson mode. <laughs> Go on, land a feature. That's a Shimon. Shimon. <laughs> I don't know why. Why am I doing Michael Jackson impressions? Damn it. That would have been great. That would have been a feature trigger there. That could have been nice. In case anyone's wondering, I am actually wearing my Batman pajamas down below. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, and that's good. That's massive. That's massive. That's massive. Base game hits. Oh, that multiplier working is magic on Gonzo. I'm really surprised it dropped in that premium. Was that top premium it dropped in? So nice to actually get a little bit of a touch in the base game. 476. Not quite 100x. On six years ago, but that is... Bonus doesn't say, why does it never play like this when we play it live? Another huge hit. Balance all of a sudden back up to almost three grand. I mean, it's still massively down on what we are, but like we've covered a lot of that. We have actually recovered a lot of that Gates of Olympus loss. It is running hot. It is running hot, 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 hot. What the hell? That's three big wins. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my God, and then it just drops it in. And the balance still over 3,000 euros. So we're, we're, we're up on, we're, we're like, I don't know, I forget exactly how much we came into the game with, but it was about four, um, two and a half, wasn't it? So we're like 500 euros up with a bonus. Bonus on this game could be fantastic. Come on, Gonzo. I must say, I don't thoroughly understand the uh, theming 
One thing that I do know is that if you get a big win, or certainly on the old, on the old version of Gonzo, if you get a big win, he does a little moonwalk, which I think is appropriate given that we've been talking about Michael Jackson. Come on, Gonzo, give me a Shimon. Nice! Look at the multiplier on this bad boy! Damn it, that's disappointing. That's disappointing to get that in. I mean, good mega ways, couple of mystery symbols. This could go humongous. Look how that multiply goes. Three, six, nine, fifteen. In with low low symbols. Come on. No. Come on, don't disappoint. Oh, oh no, it played so good in the base. I was desperate. Desperate to get the feature. Oh, go on, a brown one on the front. Brown one on the front. No. I was desperate to get the feature, and it looks like it's going to disappoint us. That's a nice spin, but multiplier not big enough. That's it again. Oh! 518, it is good! Just one drop was all that was required, and all of a sudden, we've taken this back from being a losing session? This is now a profitable session. Wow. <laughs> One spin to go. It doesn't need to be anything. Could be something. It's not. It's ended up being a 662 euro bonus. We didn't get to see a moonwalk, but that's just what the balance needed. <laughs> just what it needed. It feels like a good time to go for a Dead or Alive 2, off the back of that. I put it on 360, which is really high for Dead or Alive 2. Ooh! Okay, that's taken... How many spins? That's, that's taken 23 spins to land. Can't complain about that. Cannot complain about that at all. I never know what people expect when I fire up a bonus on Dead or Alive 2. So, it's not the sort of game where your expectation is high. It's the sort of game where your expectation is actually very low. Uh, you know, like I've said before, a lot of people rave about these games with a big, 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 big potential. Chances are most bonuses you go through without hitting a single wild and get, you know, 5x or something. <laughs> Two spins to land him. No. So you land you land four out of five wilds. A seven X return. No, no more than that. Not even seven X. <laughs> Actually I don't know what it is. No, ten X return. Ten X return. It's crap! <laughs> Next up is Wheel of Fortune and I'm expecting a bonus. A lot of the time people will say go to a big time gaming game. You're not expected a bonus, you're not expected to, to do anything. I am actually expecting a bonus on this. Fingers crossed. It's landed. How many spins? Oh, I just missed how many spins were left. Not cost too much at all. Oh, that'll do. Yeah, I'll have that. That'll do. You're always going to get one. You always get one, at least one reel. Which is close for re-triggering anyway. Got to get to 10, by the way. Anyone that's not seen the game before, you've got to get to 10 on any of these reels to get the re-trigger. And then it'll lock in at 10 ways on that reel. All the other reels are just locked in at what they're locked in at the moment. So at the moment, we're at 57,000 ways. Not many symbols increasing it. Halfway through. Halfway through. 
Okay, that takes that one to seven ways. So the middle three, so reels two, three, and four are all on seven. It's going to be hard push to re-trigger from there. It's going to be impossible to re-trigger now. One thing about the games like White Rabbit and this, if you get to this stage and you're not within two of, uh, not within two positions of getting to ten ways, it's not happening. You're not getting a re-trigger. A subpar bonus, really. But having said that, it did land pretty cheap. It's not amazing, but it, it landed cheap. At 25x, 26x. Certainly on par with uh, some of the other bonuses we've had today. Better than Legacy of Egypt. Okay, double vanners. Double vanner whites. That's nice. It's not premiums on the front, but that's because that's still good. Full expansion there. Full expansion on two and three. That's that's a nice win. That's a nice touch. Put the balance up to three eight. We're in front. Okay, another bonus. Another bonus with the balance sitting in front again. I did say it's pretty safe for a bonus. I mean, I always hate saying things like that because it's never guaranteed, but it bonuses a lot more often than some of their older games. Uh, it's a smaller start, though. That's not a great start. The thing is, even though it's not a great start, you're going to have one reel close. It depends which one that is, and if it lands. It's the end reel, actually, which is sitting on seven positions. Reel six. Okay, real two now. It's sitting on seven positions. Keep those scatter symbols coming in on real two. All real five now. Two, five, and six for scatters. Gonna be a crap one. No chance of the retrigger. No chance of retrigs. Too little, too late, I'm afraid. Wheel of Fortune, too little, too late. Another low swinging one. 20x. Not good enough. Moving on. Try a little bit of the old East Coast, West Coast. This is a game that I've struggled with massively. But I persevered because just because there's a lot of buzz around it and a lot of other people like it. It's got huge, huge, huge top end potential. That's obviously going to mean that sometimes you're going to get stung, and I, that's what keep ha keeps happening to me. But like, if I do hit with one of those monumental wins, I'll end up raving about it forever. So, yes, another cheap bonus. We have a bonus. We're going to burn it in him, dude. East Coast. The infectious X-rays thing. Still not sold on it. Get it? <laughs> the thing is with the X nudge thing, it makes so much sense. You can see like the wild lands outside, dink, dink, boost, boost, bang. It's easy to get. Like the the infectious X ways is I don't know what I don't know why it's 
Yeah, I just don't get it. Maybe I just need to see it work once. I mean, that's... Oh, that's gotta be good. That's gotta be good. That's gotta be good. That's surely that's big. Surely that's massive. Gonna be bumped by the back. No, he did hoop me. He did hit do. He did hoop it dip here. Oh, we got Lincolns. Benjamins. <laughs> that's all right. That is nice. Over 100 X on that one spin. The time when it triple dropped, it actually linked up with the aces. Still don't quite understand why it sometimes links and sometimes don't. I don't have to understand it. I'm happy anyway. <laughs> okay. Takes the balance over four grand. Up to 4163. It's a nice hit. And nice that the last two games we played on, you know, we played on like three euro stake and they've actually boosted the balance significantly. It's in a good position now. This is uh, Emeralds Infinity Reels. It's a new one from Relax. I guess they're um, cashing in on uh, the St. Patrick's Day. We're around about the time of St. Patrick's Day. I don't know when this video is going out. Um, yeah, it uses the Infinity Reels, which is from Real Play. Um, it's a few nice touches, like, so basically, it does look like those, um, the pay table increases massively as you move across, especially on things like that top symbol. I'd like to see a bonus. Let's see what happens with the bonus. Is that a bonus? Is that actually a bonus? It must be. Surely that's, if that's not a bonus, that's a bonus. <laughs> and like, again, incredibly cheap. Incredibly cheap, 14 spins. I've not even really had a time to properly acclimatize. Sometimes I say this, like, is it good to understand the game, like a game that you played loads and then be disappointed when it doesn't do what you want? Or is it good to not understand the game and then no matter what it does, you're gonna be all right with it? I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you prefer. Still hitting bonus symbols. Come on. I can see the wind clocking up on the right hand side. Do they do they accumulate then? Do they does that actually accumulate all the time? It doesn't appear to be going up particularly quick. We've got a lot of those yellow gems. We're only at 44 euros. I've oh, gone land him. Yes, that's going up nicely. Now, yes, come on, that's going. Oh, no, it's not. I feel it should be going up quicker, up to eighty-nine euros. Two X, nice, nice again. Come on, come on. And now it's going up massive. Oh, it's St. Paddy's Day. All oh, it's St. Paddy. Every day is St. Paddy's Day in Ireland. <laughs> that's awesome. I like the way that stacks up. I like the way that stacks up. Okay, no more spins, but that, what a great, what a great that it can hit those times twos. Times two, times two, times two. That is a nice little feature. 440. Taking the balance up to four and a half. We're sitting up at, we're sitting up at 4,552 now. Some cracking choices the last few games. Okay, I'm finishing up on top of the bonus, which is a new one from Inspired, but mm, I say new, it's it's basically big bonus, which is another game which they released. Uh, standard sort of, um, standard affair really. Um, Similar, so it's it's quite similar to some of their other games where they do like stack five sevens and everything like that. It's going to feel a lot like that game, but you know the thing is about big bonus and the thing about this game. Once you trigger the bonus, you're going to get a multiplying value in there. I think it's like over 20, 50, or 100. Well, it might be 25, 50, or 100. And basically, the bonus will carry on until you get one spin 
that hits that multiplier or higher. So if you pick 100x, the bonus will carry on, carry on, carry on. Unlimited free spins until you get a win on one free spin that is 100x. It's a nice kind of twist on the game. Let's see what happens if we can get it. That's a big win, isn't it? Not a big symbol. That's got to be big. Two full stack wins, reels of wilds. 89. I thought it might have been a bit better. Mega tease. Mega tease. Super tease. Normal tease. Dick tease. Quadruple T's! Treble T's! Double A's! Single A's! Oh, you damn! It is crucifying the balance, and there's just not much to show, really. I mean, it, it, it clocks in a big win at about 10 or 12x. It says that's a big win. It's done that twice. This is the second lot of 100 spins. Hurting, hurting, hurting me. Oh, oh, oh. oh, we've got away with it yet again. I chose. Oh, look. OK, so you can get 20, 25, 30, 50 or 100. I chose too high a stake here on this game. I think the some of the choices I've been making on the other games. You just knew it, didn't you? Oh! Um, spin and accumulate wins until you get a single spin of 20x or more. Yeah, I feel like I chose too high a stake here. It does too many dead spins, and it's you could easily drop a lot of money to get a bonus on this with not much happening until that point. These lock, these wires lock in place, by the way. The bonus itself is nice. Imagine hitting the 100x would mean that you're going to guarantee a win of... I mean, on this stake... The win would be minimum 500. Here, we've a tw having picked 20x, the minimum win that we can get is 100 higher than whatever we've got. The moment we're up to 34. So the minimum we're going to get here is 134. Yeah, still going. The minimum here we're going to get is 155. Still locking in walls. I like the fact that it's locking them in early on the end reels. Because it means when we do get our big hit, which is not that, we've got a hundred, we've got a hundred x, a hundred euro hit to come at the end. Not that. Drop some wilds in. What we want is to actually drop a load of wilds on the on the fifth reel. Okay, now that might do it. That's that's gonna do it. Innit? That's pushed it. That's big. That's big. I'm reckon it's gotta be at least. Okay, that's it. We've got our guaranteed bonus. But how big is it gonna be? It's all right. It's probably money back on the game, actually. Still going, yeah, 320. Takes the whole bonus up to 447. Can't complain about that, can I? I can't complain. I mean, the way that that, considering it's only 20x, that was the bottom pick. The way the wilds fell and everything to then eventually trigger it meant that we got a nice win to finish it off. It's an interesting game. It does kind of borrow heavily from what they did with Big Bonus. It's not anything groundbreaking. Kind of feels like they've just switched the art up a bit, a bit lazy, maybe for inspired to take advantage of um, St. Patrick's Day. But look, I'm not going to complain. It was good fun, and we've still, we still ended with a balance of four, five, five, three. I'm really happy with that. It's nice to take things for a spin, mix the stakes up a little bit, and get a big, big return, thousand, thousand euro profit. Um, yeah, <laughs> let's hope we can do it again next time. Until then, take care, guys. Bye bye.